Now let's take a look at the one shiny moment compilation of highlights of that. No, we don't oh, have that, Ray. Right. Sorry. Oh, man. All right, let's talk weather then in that case. And Ray is already talking about some weather on Wednesday that merits a uh, KDK first alert. Yeah, well, one nasty moment's coming our way for uh, Wednesday evening. But uh, as it stands, we're looking real nice right now. We have these temperatures still in the upper 50s in Pittsburgh. 57 Beaver, 52 Morgantown, Indiana, 50. You get 48 Greensburg and Washington. Uh, Butler still at 52. These temperatures are very, very comfortable for especially this time of night. Uh, in early April and we have some clouds in a few spots, but clear skies and others. So you can see a, a mixture of clouds and stars, 58 degrees in Pittsburgh, calm winds, uh, very comfortable temperature. Our relative humidity is up to 47%, but we have a cold front coming later this week. So in advance of the cold front, we're going to get this surge of warmer air for tomorrow and for Wednesday. And you can see temperatures at this hour near 80 in Dallas, still around 70 in Memphis, 60s in Louisville, and then you go back Back up to Minneapolis, Billings, those temperatures are in the 30s. So there's some colder air floating around there. You can see some snow associated with that, uh, but I don't think we're going to see snow. Eh? We're going to get a big push of colder air coming in, and the difference between our near 80 degree temperatures and that cooler, cooler setup, we won't call it cold, but cooler setup uh, coming our way late Wednesday is going to set us up for some thunderstorms to develop. So we have that scattered strong to severe thunderstorm potential for a good chunk of the area, especially from uh, uh, Green County, Westmoreland County, Indiana County, north and west. So this encompasses most of the area. And if you're not in the scattered strong to severe thunderstorm category, you're more in the isolated. And either way, it is going to be a setup where any of us could see a stronger type thunderstorm developing. Right now, it looks like winds are the biggest thing, but I don't think we have to worry about this until late Wednesday. We just ran through uh, Wednesday morning, maybe a spotty shower early Wednesday. That's about it. And then it's late Wednesday where things turn south real quick. So we get the uh, mainly nice day, very warm temperatures to go with it. And then those storms start to develop later on Wednesday. This is a snapshot of 5 p.m. You can see how they're starting off to the west and then they build in here. And over the course of the evening, we could see a couple of these stronger ones trying to develop as that cold front comes through. We'll start to see those temperatures fall off and then eventually the sunshine will come back out after we get through Thursday. But uh, Wednesday evening, we have that potential for strong to severe thunderstorms. That's why it's a first alert weather day. The timing for this is the evening hours. It's the best shot to see one of these stronger storms developing. And again, damaging winds are our biggest threat from this. So tonight, Pretty quiet. We'll see partly cloudy skies, temperatures in the upper 40s, so we'll fall down a little more, but it's going to be a pretty comfortable night. And then tomorrow, highs in the lower 70s, clouds and sunshine, a couple sprinkles and spots, but I think most of the day comes in dry, not a bad looking day at all. The next seven, different story. We see Wednesday turning on those late day thunderstorms. Most of the day's dry, but temperatures near 80 degrees, about 60 on Thursday with still some showers, especially early in the day. And then we set ourselves up for some sunshine Friday, Saturday, and Easter Sunday. Easter Sunday, we get a little boost in those temperatures as well with the next chance for rain after that on Monday.